Hello, the first thing I want to say is thanks to those people who wrote me comments. I definitely uh, I can read. I can't always type, but um, I mean, I cannot type. So I maybe have a helper and can answer. But I thought I would do a video and answer a few comments. The main one that is going to be the subject of today's video is on the error in types in manifesting generators. Oh my God, that was an error. So now I've got a couple things I want to just review what um, some of the comments were. Dean, thank you so much for writing again. And way back, your other comment that happened, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I thought I would like to answer you. Didn't. But Dean wrote about how he was observing how the conditioning worked on various centers. And he wrote something kind of nice, I don't remember. But right then, I thought, you know what, Dean? That is Zen in a nutshell. When we observe how conditioning works, we are completely using human design to the best advantage. So, anyway, uh, I think one topic I will have to address is how conditioning actually works. But, anyway, let's see now. There was another comment from somebody who wrote a little abbreviated P-R-O-J for projector, bitter, and then what did he have? He had profile numbers like 4-6 or something. And um, I would like to say why I think that whole thing is an error. One, we don't know anything about your chart further than you have an undefined sacral center. And I'll tell you, that profile, I mean, that's a whole other error subject. But anyway, let's go back to the 4-6 for the line pair that shows up in personality and design sun position lines. Um, what we don't know at all, because Ra did this stupid thing with the profile, is we have no idea what that hexagram is. And so you say bitter, and you know what? Throw that away if you can. I mean, it is maybe not totally untrue, but it is related to what it is to have people not pay attention to you. And you're missing the main point because you identify with a label, but you don't quite get why you feel that that fits. Okay, so that's a completely important subject that you understand that bitterness is actually related to the mechanic and Ra came up with something, as I said some videos ago, I found it quite insulting. And anyway, so there's that. I also got a comment from somebody who said uh, she listened to old videos and knew that something was happening with my voice. And so I want to address that woman. Thank you for writing also. The thing is, I do have trouble with my throat. It is the reason that I'm on that mission 
to do these recordings because who knows how long any of us last. But clearly, I am thrilled that Hal and I did those classes up through Lesson 5, which was on the planets. And um, I already know, I can't talk very long. Maybe some days it's better than others, but essentially, yes, my voice and that mechanism is somehow quite compromised. Now let's go back to a totally different theory. I don't know if it's true, but uh, Chaitanya and I spoke at one point about things wearing out. And so that is another subject. I have a mental definition, 1762, and that therefore gives me a defined throat. And one thing, and part of the reason I didn't like that wait to be invited thing is because it doesn't actually teach somebody who has definition and yet undefined sacral designed to wait. What is uh, crucial and what is crucial for that person is to understand that in that search for connection to energy, that is all the time. And somebody with a defined throat like me, you can talk, I can talk, maybe not so well, but um, in terms of waiting to be invited, the throat definition gives a person a capacity to answer or talk or ask somebody whatever. And what is really critical to understand is that people who have that type called projector, those are people who have an ability probably to pay attention and you know that whole thing, wait to be invited, wait to speak until spoken to thing. What is really critical for you to understand is that you, yourself, you don't have to wait for something outside. No, you can pay attention to yourself. You're speaking and the other person is looking at the phone, trying to figure something else out. That person may be not paying attention to you. And here's my advice, shut up, leave it. You don't need that that other person pays attention to you. If they are not interested, then that's what you get to know. They aren't interested. But waiting to be invited, come on. We're in 2014 or 15 soon. It is evident that we don't need everything to be determined by somebody seeing us on the outside. Oh, look at you. Maybe you have something to say. I mean, it's all just ridiculous. If you want to say something and you are that type with the undefined sacral and somebody is not paying attention, that's what you need to know. The uh, design called projector is very often likely to have a defined awareness center somehow. And that is what you, as the human design person, really would benefit that person by describing how the awareness works. Because once that person knows about the awareness, then however life takes them, 
it's not so problematic. Okay, now today's comment further is on manifesting generators. I got somebody who wrote, oh, that's my type, and Jesus, there's a group, I think, that everybody is confused. And I would agree, everybody. This was one of the stupidest decisions Ra made, oh my God. And right there, what I think you get, it's very important to note, Ra changed the revelation mechanics. As soon as you end up with this as a uh, sacral throat being called a design to wait, you know that he changed something very, very fundamental. And so you said it's confusing you, yay, you're glad to know more. But uh, there's something I will add, not because there is any good thing in Ra's description, but just to help you who wrote, you see a sacral center defined somehow either via the G or directly to the throat. So this is somebody in my world in the old way was or is a design to do. And the first thing you want to look at if this is your design or if you're looking at the chart of someone else, you want to observe whether or not this person feels busy, 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 do, do, do. Because if you look at the chart, often there might be a G defined, but no awareness. And therefore, that is an indication of having that action unconscious because it's pink from the design or without awareness, busy, 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 always doing. So you just observe that. If, in fact, you see that person hanging around doing nothing, all right, you've got a different starting point. It's your own observation. But for me, it's very clear that that busyness is the um, common result of having such a definition. Uh, there's something else. When we're looking at a chart, you want to first look to see whether it's a single definition or if it is a split definition and the action is not guided by some other definition, some awareness, maybe root spleen or heart, solar plexus, something that the first thing is to understand if there is a split, then one part has to wait. And right there you have your first clue. You have to wait for the awareness to be engaged. Now, there are so many vague things about how awareness works, but if you're looking at spleen awareness, then it is feeling good in the moment. And the awareness of feeling good as guiding that action is important. Otherwise, the waiting is to feel good. All right. If it's emotional, I've spoken about this recently, uh, it is very important for you to know that you've tuned in to the emotional field. It is also waiting. And in that waiting, what are you waiting for? Okay, we have emotional awareness or splenic awareness. 
but we want to come to the connection to the throat. You know, in the first time around where I had that, you get to wait to respond. But now let's look a little at the sacral center, what that waiting is for first. When you look at the sacral center as power, if we are looking at power, so in that response that you feel that you have the energy for something, this is the original way that it was described. But I think when you understand the sacral center a little better, you have various ways that the sacral center can inform you if you have a sacral center to find. All right, so I think I made my comments. I uh, am very glad to hear from you. And um, I thank you for writing. I thank you for watching the video. It is a very big motivation for me to continue with these errors in the Jovian program. It's, to me, widespread and very important that we understand how to use human design for our illumination. So, I thank you. And now I'm signing off.